Held in the first week of December, shows its stunning natural beauty and great cultural traditions that Nagaland can offer a rich fair to tourists. During the four-day stay in Northeast India, 18th member of La delegation, led by Dr. Kikeo Tantamuri, office head of the Ministry of Planning and Investment, were there exploring the festivity as guests of Nagaland Chief Minister. Our news team, Malavian Montandi, was there in covering the event. <laughs> Attending the festival, Lao Trade delegation led by the office head of the Ministry of Planning and Investment, Dr. Kika Tatabuli, along with representatives from the Lao National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, businessmen, representatives from the media, called on Chief Minister of Nagaland, Nephew Rio. <laughs> According to Nagaland Chief Minister Nepi Rio, the Hornbill Festival is organized by the government and the entire Naga civil society comes together to make this event a success. He said adding that, with the Indian government's Look East policy bringing the Isaac nations closer to the North East, the inflow of foreign tourists to ensure bring prosperity to the picturesque state. <laughs> Hornbill Festival is held at Naga Heritage Village, Kisama, which is about 12 kilometers from Koima. All the tribes of Nagaland take part in this festival. The aim of the festival is to revive and protect the rich culture of Nagaland and display its extravaganza and traditions. long festival kicked off with all the 16 tribes of the state coming together to showcase their art and culture. The festival is named after a bird that is revered by the Naga community as a whole. Why, why I choose in the North East, uh, North East India because they have a lot of uh, potential and uh, you can see here many uh, explorers so I want to show in the in full world who, who, what we are and what I have the culture and, uh, and they have a lot of opportunity here that's why I try to bring from a Lao delegation in uh, North East India and uh, we have to promote our some for Nagaland and they have a lot of uh, natural resource and a lot of things here even they have oil gas and everything here so that's why we are here President of the Indian Chamber of Commerce in Laos Chairman and Managing Director of the HSMM Group and Lao Aga Wood Habib Mohammed Chowdhury who sponsored the trip for the Lao delegation's visit told our news speaker Nagaland is known as the land of festivals as each tribe celebrates its own festival with dedication and passion. Yeah, the Indian culture and the Lao culture is very similar. You can see something is very uh, similar with the uh, culture of the Lao and is uh, very easy to develop in tourism and the trade as soon as possible. So that's why we uh, try to invest, me and my friend and team, we try to in the Hotel Door. Again, this Kavari, we try to invest here for in the tourism. That's why we are uh, in things because tourism is a very good sector and we can uh, promote as soon as possible and we have all world they know they have a Hornbill festival and a lot of tribe in here you can see and a lot of things going here. According to Habib, economic ties between Laos and India have strengthened in recent years. Indian companies have projects underway in power and irrigation in Laos 
and have also invested in plantations and mines. Yeah, because I tell you, I'm born in the northeast, uh, northeast uh, in India, and I have one social responsibility. So I have my own responsibility for my state, my people are here. So of course we are not very developed. So we have tried to do something. Uh, at least if I don't try, how I know is work or not. That's why I try to uh, do my own and HSM group every time try to sponsor. And I say thank you very much for now government. There are a lot of support and help. Other we're not going to make that even even Lao Nation Chamber of Commerce. And especially I say thanks media. And the state government organizes the week-long festival every year to promote tourism and highlight the social cultural panorama of Nagaland. All Naga tribes unite to celebrate the occasion, which is also a tribute to the hornbill, the most revered bird of the Nagas. Hornbill is closely associated with the social and cultural life of the Nagas, as reflected in the tribal folklore, dances and songs. The traditional tribal headgear Born during the festival also reflects how much the bird is cherished. Please